Guess what, folks? This anime was recommended to me by one of you. And really quick, I just wanted to let all you folks at home know that you can recommend stuff too. Girls Last Tour, or Shoujo Shulmatsu Ryoko, is a 12 episode long anime that aired in 2017 and it is an adaptation of a manga of the same name. And quite a popular one at that. The setting for this anime is a post-apocalyptic world that's, um, especially post-apocalyptic? Like, there's not a lot of people alive at all, and the plants are all dead, and the buildings are destroyed, and there's barely any food around. So yeah, especially post-apocalyptic kind of sums it up, doesn't it? And here, making their way through the rubble of the world on a tiny motorbike, we find Chito and Yuri, or Chichan and Yu as they call each other. The road might be difficult up ahead as they search for signs of civilization, but they find peace in one another's company and keep each other sane. Although at times it kind of seems like Yuri will end up driving Chito to insanity. Chito is the calm, collected motorbike driver, and Yuri is the slacker as well as the sharpshooter. They are both very cute and very sarcastic, which eases the tension of the world that they live in by a lot. But don't let the adorable art style fool you, the anime never shies away from how terrible of a situation the characters are in. I thought I would talk about this anime after Sound of the Sky because they both have somewhat similar end of the world vibes, but the anime that I'm talking about today takes a much more different approach to it than the former. Whereas Sound of the Sky is more about optimism and perseverance and changing the world for a better future, Girls Last Tour is about accepting the world as it is. In Girls Last Tour, bad things happen. Sometimes it's somebody's fault, sometimes it's nobody's fault, but sometimes it's okay to not have all the answers and be upset when bad things happen. Rather than try to fix something that cannot be fixed, the main characters in Girls Last Tour are content to just accept things as they are and live as long as they can in a world that is fading away trudging along, eating leftover rations, reading books, and singing songs to the sound of raindrops. And I think that there is a certain beauty in recognizing that everything can't be fixed. Because once you know that something can't be fixed, then you don't have to waste your valuable time trying to fix it. What it lacks in a large cast of characters it makes up for in its heart and excellent sound design. No, I'm serious. There is a song in this anime that uses raindrops as an instrument, and the main characters say you sing to it, and it is so good. And I can assure you that editor me is probably listening to it right now as I speak. Now, it's a bittersweet anime for sure, cute as well as eerie and mysterious, so if you don't want to get punched in the gut with feels you might not want to watch it, maybe? Without spoilers, I found myself quite confused after the anime ended, but something interesting happened. I remember that after I watched it, I walked to the kitchen, started doing some dishes, and then my eyes got all misty. As I stood there with my hands in the sink, I realized that the show as a whole hit me a lot harder than I thought it would. I got all emotional about it after the anime was over. So, if you're finding yourself interested in this, then I recommend it. I recall hearing that the manga is quite fantastic, but the anime is fine on its own. Whichever one that you prefer is none of my business, of course. As per usual, I'm just telling you what I think about it. And, well, um, I don't want to spoil anything else, so I'm going to say goodbye. The opening and ending are bops, by the way. They have not left my brain. Please help. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you're new, and remember my friends, you don't have to watch it, but if you do, see if you like it, and I'll see you next time.